I'm very nervous. <laughs> Why did you raise your hand? Why did Why? you? Why? I have a question. I have a question. Yeah? yeah. Is it a question that's of interest? I hope so. So are you more interested or more nervous? I'm you, more you, interested. Yeah. So focus there. Okay. See how easy that is? I have a question that I'm interested about that I'd like to focus on. That's what deliberate creation is. It's just choosing the way you want to feel right now. So you want to feel nervous or interested? I want to feel interested. Yeah. We're not beating up on you. We're just, That's okay. You can we do just that. want you to focus. I'd rather you do it than I do it to myself. <laughs> um, first of all, thank you so much. Can you hear her? I'm a little bit of a soft speaker, so I'll try. <laughs> Are you soft spoken or can you be heard? I can be heard. I can do be heard. Do you want to be heard or do you want to not be heard? Does everyone hear me? <laughs> Focusing is not a hard thing. <laughs> you want to be wishy washy or you want to be deliberate? You want to create by default or you want to create with deliberate intent? In other words, you got some decisions that you can make moment by moment, don't you? Yes, you do. Yeah. Thank you. We've almost used all your time up. We hope this is a good question. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's not a big question. Okay, so here's my question. I have a desire. I've had a desire for a very, very Now, does very she long seem time. different than she felt just a little bit ago? Yeah. I've had the desire since I was a kid, actually. And um, it hasn't quite manifested. I keep... Well, it's obvious why. <laughs> Is that right? If you don't focus on something, if you're wishy-washy about it, if you're not deliberate about it... I tend to be wobbly. But the wobble has come because it's been a long time. Well, it's been a long time because of the wobble. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, this is what I thought was going to happen. Yeah. Well, my question, my question was... Your dream is coming true. Is it true. possible to not have the right desire? Or you're focusing your attention in a specific way? It's not possible for your desire to be wrong. But it's possible for you to not have confidence in your desire. And that's what causes a wobble. And then it doesn't come. And then you want to blame it on other things. Like someone else not hearing you. Or something like that. But... All right. Well, I'm a painter and I've been working at it for a long time. A what? A painter, fine yeah. artist. Yeah. Very different, unique stuff that yeah. I find that I like to put out there because it's very uplifting. Yes. I am a natural uplifter. Yes. Everybody I meet, I want to help rise. Yeah. So Everybody's I, not ready, but we understand. What no, you mean. obviously. And so that, so my paintings probably don't do it for everybody. I'm searching for my people. That's not your job. That's the job of law of attraction. Your job is to be true to your vibration. And when you're true to your vibration, now you've got a powerful point of attraction and the people will come. But if you're searching for them, then a lot of the time and you're searching for something that isn't, you're a different vibration than you're painting. And then that's why you're attracting wobble. I understand. We know that. you do. I really do get it. I've gotten it since I was a kid. Yeah. So why are you so ready to argue for your limitations? It's sort of like a stand-up comedy routine that you do. And while it's humorous, it's no, not. No, it's not humorous. It's painful. It's painful sometimes. I go to that, you know, that wobble state and it's like seesaw, but, seesaw, seesaw. But why do you do that? It's just a bad habit. It's just a habit that comes from not focusing. It's a habit that comes from responding to the environment around you. But we can feel a clarity within you. We see it come and go even while we're talking. And we know that as we focus with you and you focus in response to our focus, we hear it, everyone saw it. And the reason that we were playing with you so hard and strong right from the moment that you hit the stage, you represent a lot of people. You represent almost everybody to some extent at some time or another. But it's easy to have this habit of approaching life that isn't working for you but it's such a habit that you keep using it and until you come to an awareness of what it is and make different decisions and the different decision that we're asking you to make is just to make more decisions make more decisions and then align with the decision this is interesting you don't like the wobble you know the wobble doesn't benefit you wobble meaning I like this I don't like this I like this I don't like this the wobble is just introducing contradictory vibrations which your inner being never does so since your inner being hear this this is the first time we've ever said this since your inner being never introduces contradictory resistance that's why the point of attraction of your inner being is so powerful since your inner being never introduces contradictory resistance when you do when you wobble it never feels good wobble always feels like instability insecurity it always feels like being disadvantaged it feels like not being heard and so you really want to give the wobble up and the opposite of the wobble is clarity think of the feeling 
the emotional feeling, the emotional indicator, the emotional feeling of clarity as compared with the emotional feeling of indecision or indecisiveness. And so you know how you are this really unique and wonderful painter. And you know, when that feeling of clarity comes to you and you move with deafness and certainty, and is every moment that you are approaching your project, does every moment feel like that? Or just some moments feel like that? When I'm going at it in the studio and I'm painting or creating, I'm, I make constructions, three-dimensional construction. When it is going, it is like source is right here. So there's a momentum about it. There's a propulsion that is undeniable. And so you know the feeling. So what we're asking is, can you know the feeling earlier in thought rather than knowing it when you're in the action phase? Can you know it when you're in the energy flowing phase? Yes, I think so. Yeah, absolutely. This is a discussion worth having. What do you think makes you now? We were a little hard on you because we knew you could take it and because you represent what so many people are doing, but we just focused you into focus and we would not accept other than that from you. And you came around to it pretty quick. We want you to do that for yourself. We want you to intend to be focused. We want you to feel the difference between focus and wobbling and really advocate for yourself for focus yes yes we'll hear more from you i was here in april or may whenever the last one was here and i left here and i manifested a whole bunch of stuff i was really in focus and everything and then of course the wobble stepped in no not of course <laughs> well for me it seems that that's but hear where that. i am i hear what a strong word of course is and then naturally things went wrong for me you're right you're right <laughs> things went good but then naturally they started going wrong. I could see it and what actually what I did was the fact that I could see it and I was aware of it I... so that's what we call post manifestational awareness that's the opposite of getting out ahead of it which is what we're talking about here Absolutely. today so right now instead of getting out ahead of it in a positive way in a negative way by saying of course so Abraham I was here before I heard good stuff really good stuff went and then like always it went south for me <laughs> and we say this is prepaving too but it's not prepaving to your advantage and if you can't hear the difference can you feel the difference that's what we're asking you yes I can feel the difference yeah. you know when you're tuned in tapped in turned on and that stuff's flowing through you can you feel it energetically too oh absolutely and so and so and so you were here before and then of course it went now what do you want to well, talk about what I wanted to say was that I feel myself moving in better ways I feel it coming I do oh, feel yeah. that I feel You're doing the change really well happening here's the thing this change that's happening it's not happening out there it's happening now or it isn't oh it's, it's happening. not happening out there it's happening now or it isn't and so just in the conversations that we've had you let it happen then you stopped it and then you let it happen then you stopped it and then you let it happen then you stopped it so you say it's happening and we say yeah it's happening in spite of yourself it's happening because there is enough momentum going that you really can't mess your life up too much because you've been doing so well but you're a fine tuner you said to us something really important can you remember the descriptive words that you used to describe your painting in the zone that too but you used other words previously my paintings are uplifting you used other words too unique you used some words you were describing your paintings what were those words they're unique they're... you used other words what were they I don't remember now yeah well you must have been in the zone and now you're not so now you can't hear them. <laughs> my paintings are very unique they're playful they're whimsical they're uplifting my being goes into the painting well which part of your being source I really believe that. so when I'm tuned in it goes into my painting so That's right. in the same way that you are a very particular very specific very unique very deliberate painter we want you to be a very specific very unique very deliberate thinker all these qualities that you've discovered in this talent of yours we want you to acknowledge that you have a vibrational talent that came first you see you're going to really like this analogy sometimes you get in the zone and you make something so good you can feel it as it's happening you can feel it as you see it and others can feel it as they see it that's you in the zone but what you've been doing here on the stage with us it's okay everybody does it it's like you took a big bucket of black paint and the kind of paintbrush that you paint the house with and you just paint it all over your last painting you wouldn't do that would you you wouldn't take all that time to be specific and be unique and get it just the way you want it and then mess it up by just indiscriminately just brushing 
stuff all over it you would never even consider that and yet that's what you're doing with your words with the direction of your thoughts it's like you paint it really pretty and then you muck it all up and then you paint it really pretty and then you muck it all up and you can tell what part of that is satisfying and what part is not we want you to be as deliberate with your thoughts and words as you are with your actions that's what we're asking and that's what getting out ahead of it is by the time you've got your materials in your hand and you're in that flow there's a lot of momentum that's happened and there's a propulsion that is happening that's going to carry you away. but we're talking about what percentage of your life time wise do you think you spend in the studio doing that 10 percent what percentage do you sleep what percentage do you I'm eat what percentage do you I'm walk in the studio every day but in that zone in that zone what percentage probably 20 percent so you think you spend 20 percent of your life or 20 percent of your day in the zone 20 percent of my we give life. you three percent three percent we give you three percent in the zone and that's a high percentage and we're not just talking about you we're talking about most people in that kind of zone which just turns you on it's so exhilarating that's what you always want we want you to begin to discover those feelings with the molding of thoughts with the molding of desires with the discovering of new concept we want the idea about what you're going to paint to be as exhilarating to you as when you've actually got materials in your hand and are moving them along we want conversations that you're having with friends and family and those like us we want that to be as satisfying because as you're turning thoughts to things as you're turning ideas into paintings there's a whole lot more time 97 percent of your life experience is spent not actually doing that and that is the time that we want you to practice you see does that make sense to you absolutely life is supposed to feel good all the time not just when you're in that zone and there's no reason to not be in the zone all the time because you know why your inner beings in the zone all the time you know what else your inner being has a strong point of attraction you know what else the law of attraction is responding to the inner being larger part of you you know what else your inner being has the power to gather all of the cooperative components because the cooperative components are cooperative they're not resistance why are you a not cooperative component true not just you but I, I there's no reason to not be cooperative except that you've practiced thoughts that aren't cooperative that's so interesting until you meet someone like us who will not put up with it we will not allow you to be uncooperative in your thoughts we'll call you on every single one of them oh it's so interesting because I want to get into that zone I want to paint so I can be in that zone because when I walk but what out we want of there you to know the zone is not in your studio that's not the no zone. exactly the zone is not in the studio the zone is in this moment and in this moment you don't even have to be in the zone you have to just be moving in the direction it's not a zone it's a path and it's a path of least resistance it's not the path of most resistance it's not even the only path it's just the best feeling path so as we've been playing with you you're choosing different paths that don't feel so good and we're saying here's a better feeling one here's a better feeling one here's a better feeling one you got to care enough about yourself to want to be on the good feeling path that's the way it's supposed to be you can't have a happy ending to an unhappy journey the path's got to feel good and when's it got to feel good now and when else can it feel good never there's never another moment other than now you have nothing to do with any other paths this segment intending that Esther's doing is not about the next segment it's about how she's causing herself to feel now and as she feels now then it's likely that as she moves into the new segment she'll take that now Esther with her and if she takes that now Esther with her into the next segment oh then good stuff happens in that next segment too but all of your power is right now right now it's not when you're in the studio and it's not when you meet your lover and it's not when the lottery ticket pays off for you it's not out there somewhere it's right now you're choosing the wobble now or you're choosing the zone now you're choosing alignment now or you're choosing misalignment now you see it's right now 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 it's perfect yeah perfect. thank you